And that's everything you need to know about clouds coming to Infinite Flight. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, Xantorio, and welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope you all are doing amazing, because I sure as am. We are getting close to that 2k. Hopefully we can hit it this week, if possible. Anyways, today's YouTube video is going to be about clouds coming to Infinite Flight. I'm going to try and give you all of the information I could find by browsing through that developer stream once again. And also, I'm going to give you my prediction on when they're coming to Infinite Flight. Please be aware my predictions are not facts, they are just personal predictions based off of fact and data. Other than that, without wasting any time, let's get straight into the video. Also, check out my merch link in the description. Let's go. Are you after some new clothes or something to keep you warm? Well, I know, just the place to go. Head over to the Xentoro merch store where you can buy anything going from hoodies to t-shirts to even phone cases now. Go check out what's there. Thank you. So for quite a while now, the skies in Infinite Flight have been quite blue. They've been quite plain, shall we say. Sometimes white, sometimes blue. But now we're going to see clouds. Now. Before I get into this, here is some basic stuff about the clouds coming to Infinite Flight. Now, I thought I'd just let you know that they are a serious layer of clouds. Uh, this is what a serious layer of clouds is. I looked it up in case none of you know, so I showed that on the screen for you all. It's just a little strand of cloud, basically, but they can layer them, making them really thick, which is going to be quite cool. But um, here is the cloud development frequently asked questions that Infinite Flight put on their timeline. Clouds are in the works for Infinite Flight and are undergoing internal testing. Here are the answers to some frequently asked questions. Question 1. What kind of clouds will be released? And the answer is our first iteration is a cirrus cloud layer. Cloud cover thickness and altitude uh, and yeah, and altitude will be very based in conditions. So basically literally what I just said like a few seconds ago so I, if I'm just going to quickly zoom through these questions and then I'll let you know my predictions and other important stuff that I think about clouds coming to Infinite Flight. So what other types of clouds, uh, will other types of clouds come later? Yes that is their plan but they don't have a time frame, they never have a time frame, don't worry about that. Um, will my device be able to handle it? Well basically if your device can handle Infinite Flight now it will be able to handle um, clouds when they come. Um, will clouds be based on real weather data like Meta or TAF? Um, yeah, it will. Clouds are just going to be basically the cloud above London, cloud above London, infinite flight. You know, cloud above China, cloud above China in infinite flight. You guys know how that bit works. Will precipitation be included? No, but it's something they'd love to add in the future. So basically, we're going to wait a very long time for precipitation because they have much more important stuff they'd rather do, like, um, I don't know, redevelopments or something. So, you know, probably like redevelop the Cessna or something again, it doesn't matter. Uh, redevelopment's a redevelopment at the end of the day, I'm happy. Um, but yeah, precipitation will be something along the line, I think, maybe a few years at least, because like you don't, I don't think any mobile sims have it yet. I'm not too sure. They might, they might, I'm sorry. But no, I think some of them do. Oh, I don't know, you guys are going to have to correct me in the comments sections again, because I, I, I don't actually know. You guys let me know. Um, are clouds available for non-pro users? Yes, they will indeed. That's really cool. And when will the update come? Well, that's right. Infinite Flight have no idea when the update's going to come. They hate setting time frames because like, they're not bad at keeping schedules, but they, they just they don't know when stuff's going to come out. So that's very fair on them. Understandable. Now, basically... um. The difficulty with developing clouds to come into Infinite Flight, it's that, um, so they're working on a very large scale, so when you're in the air, you'll be able to see clouds like 150 nautical miles away, and the big issue of that, so in other flight simulators you see, like, it, it's easy to build clouds when there's only a, um, a 30 square kilometre map, but with Infinite Flight you're going to be looking like it's, it's global and getting clouds over such long distance it's got some harsh things with development hence the long development time so that's basically what Laura said in the stream so um, I mean I might as well show you some really cool cloud photos then I might have shown you quite a few of them but let's just go through the ones with the um, 777 shall we okay so as we look into the triple seven cockpit here we do see clouds in the horizon which is really really cool now basically you see, it's only a thin layer, so I really think that's all we will originally be seeing in Infinite Flight, I believe. Unless this is um, before clouds become, like, really thick, but from these two images, it's just a little... So it's, a, it's a nice blur, like, a blur may sound as an insult, but it's really good. I am truly amazed. 
Um, the cockpits also before animations came in development, but now I believe animations are in the triple seven development. But now the bit you've all been waiting for, when do I think they're going to come to Infinite Flight? Well, I think they are going to come very soon. I am hoping they can be here within 20.1, but I'm not too sure after what Infinite Flight put on Twitter the other night. So, you never know. There's only one way to find out, I guess. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night.